Antarctica is perhaps one of the most mysterious places on the planet. Researchers and scientists have tried to explore this location, but each expedition takes a toll on the human body. It's an incredibly hard place to study and with it comes many setbacks. New and upcoming evidence appears to have opened the eyes of researchers, as they have been able to take a glimpse into Antarctica's past. Not only this, but modern technology has helped them to discover new anomalies in the region, one of which appeared to scientists in the 1970s. When satellites were mapping our planet, scientists soon noticed they had picked up on something strange in Antarctica. This came in the form of a mysterious hole. Researchers then got together to try and understand what this hole was and why it appeared so suddenly. However, fast forward a few months and this giant hole had completely vanished. This was perhaps one of the first mysteries of Antarctica, and scientists were frustrated they couldn't figure out what it was. Fast forward a year as the researchers started to forget about the anomaly, it suddenly made an appearance once again. This time the hole appeared to be much larger. The hole in question was over 3,500 square miles, and had appeared in exactly the same place as it did before. While studying the anomaly once again they realised it was growing at a very fast rate. In fact in just a couple of months the hole grew by a massive 700%. Once again though, just as the researchers were taking measurements and trying to understand why it appeared, the giant hole suddenly vanished once again. As you can imagine, the scientists couldn't understand why this was happening, and it's only been in recent years that they think they figured it out. Turns out the giant anomaly could be caused by harsh weather conditions. The theory was put forward by scientists at the York University in Abu Dhabi. This was after they looked over satellite images. The reason for these large holes is said to be because of cyclone storms. When the storms hit the region they are able to tear the ice apart. This theory was put forward this year and more research is going into what's causing these holes. The researchers have said that although they think this is what's causing the holes, the cyclones in the region do benefit the local wildlife. The researchers said this study was published in the Journal of Geophysical Research Atmospheres. Over the last few years, scientists have been quite vocal about the fact that Antarctica is melting at a rapid pace. For example, researchers have recently said they've noticed a large fissure growing in the continent's fourth largest ice shelf. This was picked up back in November. This was because the crack grew by over 90 miles. This has led scientists to speculate the Larsen Sea ice shelf is breaking apart. For those unaware, the Larsen Ice Shelf is a long ice shelf in the northwest part of the Weddell Sea. This can be found on the east side. The ice shelf itself originally covered an area of 85,000 square kilometres, or 33,000 miles. However, in recent years, it's thought to measure around 67,000 square kilometres, or 26,000 square miles. The most recent discovery, though, is in regards to a giant hole discovered under the ice. The scientists have estimated the hole is the size of Manhattan. This giant anomaly was discovered by NASA's Operation Ice Bridge. This is a program of theirs that helps to find and map out glaciers and ice sheets in three dimensions. The scientists have said that this has allowed them to see how fast a glacier melts, and what's actually below the bedrock. The next question people started to ask is what's in the cavern? The researchers said they think it's most likely filled with air much warmer than the surrounding ice, and this is the reason the ice has been melting faster. The biggest news however is still the rate at which Antarctica is melting. Researchers and scientists who have been mapping and studying Antarctica have come forward and said that they've noticed some strange warming effects at our poles. This is happening at times they wouldn't expect. For example like winter and in places like Antarctica. Recent studies have been released and suggest the planet is warming up. The scientists have said this warming in the Arctic and Antarctica have caused many strange events. One being melting of off-winter problems including permafrost that never refroses winter, and also wildlife deaths. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration released the following statement. In our recent report we stated this year was the second warmest year on record in the Arctic. 
and this came with many problems. Record low winter sea ice has been reported in parts of the region, as well as increased toxic algae blooms, which are usually a warm water thing on weather changes in the rest of the country. Unfortunately, average American people are also likely to be deeply affected by the decision not to tackle climate change head on. In the last few years, flooding has become a major problem all around the world. One of the places being hit the most are some of the areas of the United States. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, it's projected that high flooding around the American coastlines this year will surpass typical levels of flooding by around 60%. This has scientists worried as it was initially thought it wouldn't be as high as this. Within the next 30 years, it's estimated around 300,000 homes in the country with a combined value of 117 billion are likely to be at risk of chronic flooding. Another interesting discovery was made by scientists and this came in the form of toxic fallout. The researchers said that something bad is happening as the Earth's temperatures rise. What they're talking about is the radioactive fallout from nuclear meltdowns and weapon testing. After the tests were done, that wasn't the end of the tests. Fallout then found its way into the glaciers all around the world. Now if these glaciers melt, which it seems likely they will, it could mean that it might get released back into the atmosphere and this could have massive effects. A team of scientists have been working together to try and figure out spots where the fallout could be. So far they've managed to find nuclear fallout in the Arctic, Iceland, the Alps, British Columbia as well as Antarctica. And as you can imagine they started to get worried. It doesn't help either that researchers have said that Antarctica is melting at an alarming rate. Researchers and scientists who have been mapping and studying Antarctica have come forward and said that they've noticed some strange warming effects. They've said they now have proof that the planet is warming up. The scientists have said that this warming is having strange effects on our planet. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration released the following statement. In our recent report we stated this year was the second warmest year on record in the Arctic, and this came with many problems. The scientific team went on to say they found man-made radioactive material at all 17 survey sites. The worry is that glaciers and ice caps are melting, and then what happens is it's been released into the atmosphere and then forced back down to Earth, usually in the form of rain. What this means is that it's then absorbed by plants and soil. Not just that, but a large bulk of it also finds its way into the oceans and rivers. This fallout can stay in the environment for a long time. Interestingly, a study was done in Sweden and they found that wild boar meat contained more than 10 times the safe levels of cesium. The worry here is that scientists and researchers have said the melting of glaciers around the world is happening, and it's not something we can stop. They've said that although we can slow the process down, it's still going to happen. They are worried that we won't be ready when this happens, and when it does eventually become a reality, we're going to struggle to find the correct thing to do. Going back a few years ago, scientists reported that a massive object that could change our understanding of history is hidden beneath the Antarctic ice. These claims have caused theorists to speculate about what could be lying under the ice, and as you can imagine, all kinds of theories have been put forward. This mysterious anomaly is believed to be underneath an area called Wilkesland. The area is over 150 miles across, and has a minimum depth of around 2,500 feet. Interestingly, researchers have suggested it could be the remains of a giant asteroid, and if this is the case, it would be more than twice the side of the asteroid that struck Mexico 66 million years ago. This was the asteroid that's believed to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. This could help to answer one of the planet's most mysterious events. During the Permian Triassic, a massive extinction event happened. It caused over 96% of the Earth's sea creatures and over 70% of vertebrate organisms living on land to perish. This giant rock could have been behind that event. This mysterious anomaly was first brought to the attention of researchers in 2006. This was when NASA's satellite picked up on gravitational changes. 
So what do you guys make of these recent discoveries surrounding Antarctica? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.